Four European bison have been released into ancient woodland in southeast England. The project aims to explore the potential benefits these large animals can have on woodland habitats. This is the first time that bison have ever been introduced to the UK and used in a UK woodland for conservation purposes. So this is really groundbreaking stuff and it means we can contribute scientific understanding of rewilding. We're bringing four European bison into the woodlands here and what we're hoping is that these bison are going to create an open space and really letting light come down to the ground and invigorating the woods here and we're hoping that's going to have a massive impact on, on biodiversity and creating a more resilient site here for future generations and uh, in the face of things like climate change. Bison in particular behave in a very unique way. They have a very unique ecology and they do things that no other animals do. So for instance, they like eating the bark around the tree, which over time is going to kill the tree. It's going to create standing deadwood, which is very important for um, invertebrates. Another very, very typical and unique thing for bison is to just roll around in a little sand pit and they create these little dust baths, which again are super valuable for burrowing invertebrates, burrowing insects. And again, by increasing the abundance of that, we're hoping to increase the abundance of all the wildlife in the project area. Monitoring the bison is going to play a really important part and analysing where are the bison frequenting, what's their sort of daily routines, also ties into um, you know, the safety and the welfare of, of the public and the animals. You know, there's vast amounts of monitoring and, and research going into baseline surveying and spatial three-dimensional mapping of the vegetation and looking at what's here already. But all of this together, when you mirror that up with the tracking data of the, the, the bison, really starts to shape our understanding of, of how the bison are interacting with their surroundings and the impact that they're having. As the Wilding Evidence Ecologist, I'm responsible for the monitoring program of the Wild of Lean project. We have a treatment that contains bison alongside Iron Age pigs and Exmoor ponies. We have a second treatment that contains longhorn cattle instead of the bison, again alongside Iron Age pigs and Exmoor ponies. And then a third treatment which is our control side and there will be no grazing animals. I collect a crazy amount of data, the amount of seedlings, the amount of saplings, the girth of the tree, the height of the tree, how many nectar sources, how much grass there is and of course any species I can find and, and their abundance as well. So I have light intercept traps that are hanging in the bleen and what happens with them is that the invertebrates fly into them then their instinct is to go up and then they'll be trapped in a sample bottle so we know how many flies we have, how many bees, how many ants and that gives us a number again for invertebrate abundance rather than diversity. In addition to the surveys we're doing of different wildlife, we're also doing drone surveys. We're producing 3D models of the environment and we can then compare those each year to see how the bison and the other livestock are affecting the vegetation structure. And what we can do is combine the red and the near infrared bands together and create an index called the Normalised Difference Vegetation Index. Um, and this gives you a measure of the chlorophyll content of vegetation. So areas that are highly productive, uh, have a lot of vegetation biomass, will show up as very green, whereas drier uh, or more degraded areas will come up in sort of a different colour. This is really useful as a proxy for sort of vegetation biomass and allows us to see how the bison are affecting those from their grazing and browsing. We expect the bison to do several things. Uh, we expect them to open up the tree canopy and let light down to the forest floor. So if they're felling trees um, or taking out juvenile trees when they're young, we will expect over time to see more open areas. And these are things we can detect with the drone. We'd also expect to see some changes in the habitat terrain. So for example, bison like to dust bathe. Um, so we might see that in 3D models. Um, and we might also see areas where they're creating corridors through the woodland as they travel around. 
why are we doing this? What's the benefits, not just to wildlife, but to, to us as a society? This is hugely important. You know, intrinsically, we rely on nature and, and healthy functioning ecosystems. And uh, I think it's really important to start getting that message across and getting people inspired by nature and wild spaces again. So for me, again, that's somewhere that I want to see is people coming from all over the country to, to visit and uh, see a bison. This is one of the first time something like this is trialled in the UK woodland. So it is going to be very experimental and we don't know what's going to happen, but I think the overall um, effect is going to be positive. What we're hoping for is to increase the structural diversity. So through, again, the unique behaviour of the bison, they're hopefully going to create more layers in the woodland. They're going to create more open areas. So we'll have more sunlight come to the woodland floor. We'll have more native species that are going to seed, that are going to grow. So we'll introduce more structure into the woodland which is going to create more more habitats for species more shelter more food so through all of those things and through increasing the invertebrate abundance we're just hoping for more of everything there's no other conservation grazers really that we have that will have the same effect that they will have i'm looking forward to being a few years in and seeing how they do change the habitat um, and improve biodiversity in the woodland we're hoping that this is going to be a trial run for projects like this to happen all over the UK, for people to see that actually things like bison, those ecosystem engineers, can be the nature-based solution that we need in order to restore woodland like this. Being called a bison ranger is something that I think will take a while to make sense really. And yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more bison rangers in, in the future. Um, really excited for it.